introductions and shout outs. Woo. George Snows, I'm fired up again, man. I got to back up off the uh, Red Bull and all that shit, man. I mean, is it too it, old, is that man? Problem? Shit's going to blow out your heart. Yeah, my heart is strong. Shout outs to Danny Go- Gomez. See. A shout out to Kel, a.k.a. Charles Holmes. He's actually from Frederick, Maryland. He's a local boy. Now, I'm going to hit you with some slippery ass shit, George. Okay, what Word is it? association. Uh oh. Yeah. Didn't even see it coming. Nope. All right. Quick answers, no paragraph answers. The yep. first thing Tim Tebow. Jesus. <laughs> That's good as shit. That's good as shit. Joe Paterno. Crusty. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Dirty. <laughs> Santa Claus. Fake. I knew you were going to say fake. If I had some money, I knew you were going to put say fake. Okay. Your favorite Christmas movie slash cartoon. Famous. Favorite. Favorite. Your favorite Christmas movie or cartoon. Like if it was Frosty the Snowman, whatever, you know, growing up. Your favorite one. You had to have seen, even if you don't like any one. I've seen them, but that doesn't mean I liked them. You said yeah. favorite, as in I liked them. Uh, I didn't of like all them. the ones that you didn't like. Which one did you dislike the and least? That one, that dumbass little white boy gets his tongue stuck on the pole and shooting red, red or BB gun. Can't stand that one. And then the old one with the dude with my name who who sits there and has to wear Santa Claus. The Claus one you sh- just said is a Christmas story. That shit's terrible. Yeah, my Christmas story was better than yes. that one. Click right here if you want to see it. <laughs> and then the other one, the the one where it's like George, I think the dude's last name is Bedford. It's in, or it's in Bedford, the the town, the name of the town. Bedford, been, uh, Connecticut? Or I don't know. It's in, the, it's in the damn movie. It's old black and white one where Santa Claus is actually there and the, what they want for Christmas oh, in the Miracle house. Oh, Miracle on 34th that Street. That shit's terrible. Yeah, would you have a good like one? You like? No, I don't. Dude, let me. Tell I, you I'm going to tell you what I. Used the to Grinch. Like. The Grinch stole Christmas. That's my man. Nice. He finally answered it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I want to see what everybody out there. I'm in the holiday spirit, dude. Not I said the cat. Yeah. Um. I want everybody to tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is or your favorite Christmas cartoon. Uh, now I, moving I can, on to. Uh, NC. You know, it'd be nice if Georgetown would send something in the mail. That would be real nice. That would be a nice present for you. Well, I'm going to tell. You, speaking of Christmas nice and speaking of presents, Ohio State got one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ohio State finally got the penalties from the NCAA infraction committee. So Urban Meyer will be dealing with some uh, penalties his first year. They include a one-year bowl ban. Why don't they just do that right now? They're not going to do it. They're just like, no, we're waiting until 2012, bitch. You guys aren't playing in a bowl. They lost nine scholarships during the next three years, three a year and two years probation. And it don't matter. Urban, I bet Urban Meyer wins the Big Ten in, in two years. In addition, former Buckeyes coach Jim Trussell also received a show cause penalty from the NCAA, which makes any school that hires Trussell subjects to penalties unless it proves why it should escape sanctions. So nobody's hiring that motherfucker. Work, isn't he working for the Colts anyway? Huh? Isn't he working for the Colts anyway as a specialist? Yeah, a specialist because I don't have a job specialist. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Now – Joe Paterno mm. <laughs> It's resting at home, but also continue, continuing his rehabilitation. Let me tell you something about Joe Paterno, everybody. Um, he is, if you don't. Yeah, he's bo- guilty as just as anyone else. Fuck him. Can we flash the word karma up in the background? Because uh, Joe Paterno all of a sudden is getting a little bit of bad karma. Um, lung cancer, falls, busts his hip again. I mean, that's just some fucked up shit. He needs, he needs just to chill out. Go sit on the couch and, I mean, just live out the rest of your life and as best as you can because you had a contributing uh factor into not doing what you should have done i don't care what anyone else says but for that man not to do morally more than that yeah whatever man how are you gonna cover your own ass when other kids asses are getting violated talking about i'm helping them learn how to shower you dirty motherfucker did something did your uncle teach you how to shower you nasty bastard yeah Ugh. it's kind of crazy man i mean uh who's the coach of the year in college football george Who's now? I'm asking you a question. Les Miles. What team does he coach? The LSU Tigers. Now, what I'm about to say it's is, the first time he's been voted that by the AP. That's Did you know that? Shocking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, what, what, what I'm about to say is probably what you about a lot of say? you out there are either going to think I'm crazy or right biased, on. and I'm going to say yes to both of them, and not so much the crazy part because I can tell you right now, unless LSU gets beat 52 to 10 by Alabama, and I don't see that happening. LSU is the uncrowned champ. 
I don't give a damn. I don't care if they lose to Alabama. I don't because I'm going to tell you what, LSU, had. they had to have set some kind of record for beating the most ranked teams and doing what they did this year. And I they, don't give a they shit. They actually have. I, I don't care team. if they lose to Alabama or not. To me, they're the national champ. And those boys deserve a national championship because that's right. bullshit. Yeah. I mean, they have to go through it. I mean, but they have a – the thing is, is, it's funny for the national championship. You have over a month to prepare for that it's, shit. That's you know, why everyone thinks game. it's going to be high scoring. Yeah, and it's 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 funny because you know during the course of the season when you got to prepare for a game every fucking week, man. If you run the table during the course of the season, win your fucking the SEC championship, play the team that you're going to be playing in the bowl. You had to do it under much tougher circumstances. So I do agree with you, and uh, they good. I, I, just I hope, hope I, I do hope LSU does beat them. Yeah, I do too. Um, yeah. I think because I think they're deserving of it. Yeah, I think they can, and I think they will. And so. I think another thing was Oklahoma State got kind of shafted in it. Yeah, that's that's to me that's the most fucked up thing that's come out of this. Mm-hmm. And to me, like I'm watching these Division three games, and I'm thinking, wow, they have a playoff system. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're not losing money. Wow, that seems to be doing just fine for them. Why can't we have one? I, I don't know why. I, you would think that after this year, and it seems like everybody is basically saying we want a playoff system, but they won't do it. Question, now, how are your bowl picks coming along? Yours are as good as mine, huh? Did you go for three this weekend? I did go. Yeah, for I didn't do well. Either. But I signed up for fantasy MMA at www.pickthefights.com. <laughs> Y'all got to run over there and do this shit. But you first got to join our Facebook fan page. So mm-hmm. you want to go to our YouTube homepage, click on the Facebook button. Join our shit. You will find all the sign-up information on our Facebook fan page. And then you can go to www.pickthefights.com, sign up, and uh, play me, George, and Jimmy in MMA Fantasy. And, and by lose. the way, the winner, lose, the win- the winner who has the most accumulated points not only wins and has bragging rights for the first month of the year, but they're also going to get a shirt of their choosing. Oh, I know that because I was on the site and those motherfuckers are talking trash, talking about, I'm going to get the shirt. No, nigga, I'm going to get the shirt. No, nah, bitch, about- I'm going to get the shirt. Oh, motherfucker, I'm getting the shirt. And here's the other thing. For you people who are bored, you need a laugh, you want an idea of what the shit I look at on a daily basis or the things I see, Go to my blog because I'm gonna tell you right now. I think I might, I might could, thinking about it, see what y'all folks out there think. Do a caption contest once a month, yeah, for for a shirt giveaway. George is actually he puts some fun. He just takes random pictures and he puts it up on on his blog. If you go to our YouTube homepage, if you click on George's blog, it'll take you right there and make comments and everything. But you, you actually are saying that you want to um. You want to actually get everybody involved in your blog, don't you? Yeah, I want the folks to go there and comment on the photos, check it out. But the the thing is, I think if I run a contest and might could give away a shirt, people yeah. might actually show up and so look at the, the pictures. The contest would be based on a picture. I'll say I'm going to post a picture January one. Why don't you invite everybody to your blog and have see who posts the funniest picture? That's what not fuck. No, I don't want them posting pictures. I want oh, them okay. posting comments. I just try to take over your blog. Right. Yeah. That's thanks. If they if y'all got <laughs> funny pictures, y'all want to send to me, and I'll decide whether I want to put them up because they have to be funny mm-hmm. and at least come up with a funny title. Then yeah, let me know. Cool. Um. Now, moving We're on. We're talking to basketball. The NBA, How, everybody. Did you by uh, chance see the Clippers? Wow. I, I was gonna I was gonna say that. You know, I everybody who's followed us for a long time knows that I am a diehard Los oh, Angeles Lakers fan. Sensitive, too, about it because we were having a conversation. Put it this way. Kevin got so upset by me bringing up the idea that Kobe Bryant might could ask for a trade by the end of the season, I literally changed the subject. because No, nah, man, that ain't going to happen. That's dumb. Some team ain't going to give away everything they need. I need Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I'm like, you need Kobe Bryant? No, nah, man, I'm saying the Lakers need Kobe Bryant. The game away wouldn't make no sense. Because the other team would have to give up too much. And then Kobe, and I'm like, okay, hey, cool. Well, I just, what I was whoa. trying to tell George. Quite was, angrily. It was, it was, it was stupid. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be George for a second. I, I'm, I'm gonna be, George I'm is going to be Kevin, and I'm going to be George. It was just stupid as shit, you stupid monkey. Okay? <laughs> I, this is why. Oh. The biggest reason why is because Kobe just flat out was asked that question just yesterday. And okay. he said, absolutely not. He goes, I've been at Laker for 16 years. I'm way too deep into my career to go anywhere. Okay. But forget all that. <laughs> I, I just thought it made no sense. Okay. But uh, it, it it maybe it did have a little bit to do with my passion for Lakers. Oh, yeah, he got – it's different. It, it's not it's not the Kevin White you see on here that was fun. I mean, he was like – very rarely do you see Kevin get – I was going to punch angry. George yeah, in his head. Kevin man. was not happy. 
just don't. I'm already upset about it. Right. right? I know you're one of y'all he's, motherfuckers. He's literally. mad because Lamar Odom's gone, and I think Lamar Odom whined and cried. Kevin goes, well, what else are you supposed to do? He did all this for the team. And then I go, well, you know, the team doesn't really owe him anything but a paycheck, and he's just supposed to go play. And then, you know, Kevin gets angry, and I just stop. I don't talk basketball. <laughs> I'll talk basketball about however many other teams but the Lakers. I was confused. I do. Yeah, he gets yeah. angry. I get pissed. You get, uh, like, angry. Like, That's the like, only, you know, I don't. I, you don't I, get it, angry about the Redskins because they suck, and right. they suck for a while, and they're going to continue I've, to suck I've, for a while. Right. I've grown callous to it. But the Lakers, I just want to, like, just snap and pop a motherfucker. <laughs> yes. <so I don't, laughs> but the thing is, is this. It is it is very frustrating being a Lakers fan, and we'll talk about some other NBA teams because— There are there are other NBA teams? They are. Not in my world, but everybody <laughs> else's world. They're probably like, we don't want to hear about the Lakers, but you know what? Y'all motherfuckers going to hear about the Lakers because— Click off. Odom is— uh, A Maverick. Why the Mavericks? He, I just thought that was stupid, but yes. Odom also is such a team leader in the locker room. He's he's a good thing. Now, and I watched. Well, I'm sure he'll help that locker room. Yeah, he really <laughs> will. The Clippers, damn, I'm spitting chip. The the Lakers and the Clippers played last night in uh, preseason basketball. Um, there was a couple things, you know, it's preseason, but the thing that freaked me out was, uh, and it changes during the season. I know this was the Clippers not so they made the Lakers look old and it wasn't because the Lakers are getting older it was because the team was so young and seemed so enthusiastic like Chris Paul was out saying you know what I feel like I don't even know how to explain it it was euphoric feeling I didn't even feel like I was there it felt like I was a rookie again that's how excited he is that's how everything Chauncey as a shooting guard Chauncey that Bama dropped would you 28. Like to Huh? That Bama dropped 28, and I'm pretty short. Now, let me let me press rewind. Because <laughs> rewind this shit back that to, was me. to Saturday. Somebody was quite – man, Chauncey ain't going to do shit. What they going to do with that old-ass dude? He, he going to try to bring the ball up? What's he going to do? He ain't no two. Well, I started mm. thinking about everything, and I, I started thinking about everything. I think I was thinking, okay, this Clippers, <laughs> everybody – that's been the talk in the NBA, and that's why we're talking about it. So it's not the Lakers. What arena more, do they play in? They play in the Staples Center. Sta- Lakers own Staples Center, surely. They ain't going to have it. They, they got to have – they will have to have played in 30 no, NBA I, championships. I, I, know, I, know you're a histo- 30. I know you're a historian, but I'm just asking a question about today. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking a question about – I don't – not Maybe in, t- in five I'm just, years. No, I'm just asking what stadium do they play in? The Staples Center. Thank George, you. see, George, I'm going to see what y'all might witness tonight. George <laughs> get knocked out. <laughs> but, uh, just but, asking But – um. It's, did the Clippers it, sell out this season? They did. They, hmm. they did. George likes to fuck with me. Who man. owns the Staples Center? Because that's the smartest motherfucker out of all of them. Oh my god, it's shit is Who crazy. Because he's paid. It's full. Because every night he's it's got a home game every night. Two NBA teams mm-hmm. sell out one stadium. Yeah. And there's, I mean, it's. But the thing is, is this: they look great. They looked young and enthusiastic. They but, played good together for the first at least preseason game. Now, me, I'm gonna be nice about this one, mm-hmm. dude. It's the fucking preseason. It is. Chris Paul will probably get hurt. He's had an issue, health issues. Blake Griffin, he can dunk and somewhat rebound. Karan, to me, Karan Butler is going to be the one that that team. Karan Butler was, I think, the the. I'm going to tell you what cornerstone for the Mavericks. The fact that this is two things, and I'll tell you what. Forget Chris Paul. Well, he plays part of this equation. The fact that Chauncey Billups no longer. Chauncey. Has to worry about anything, nope. and he's a good pure shooter. Like he, if he doesn't have to shoot and run the point, when he can just sit back and shoot, and you're worried about CP3 doing shit, he seems he seemed very effective. Next game it might be shit, but DeAndre Jordan, that motherfucker slammed on the whole team, and I was like, ouch! It just, I was like, that didn't look good at all. It was great like this. See you, Bynum. See you, Gasol. Boom, bye. What position does that cat play? Center. Mm. Wow. And I thought they had nothing in the middle. Um, Dallas Mavericks, I think, are going to be shaky for a while because they're dealing with a whole new roster. I think uh, – Can someone please answer me the question that, that I don't think anyone's answered yet? What's wrong with Tyson Chandler? I don't know what's how wrong come, with Tyson how come Chandler. That dude has played on how many – the Bulls, mm-hmm. the Knicks now. He's played on the Mavericks. And at one point he was down in New Orleans. Yeah. That's at least four teams without me really thinking too hard about it. Like, that's the team to me. I was. It's funny that you, you, you said that because that's the team to me in the East that's going to be very interesting. The year. Knicks? Yeah. You got who, Carmelo. Yeah, but who, they got, ha, who, who do they have at guard? Hmm? Their front court – their their front court's great. Who do they have in their back court? They just signed Baron Davis. That motherfucker's out eight to ten weeks, and Baron Davis is a well, heist. But, I mean, you know, he, he's a heist, but 
when he comes back, I mean, you you definitely have somebody that can run the point now. I mean, they they really didn't have. I mean, I you know, if we were getting Baron Davis from 1990, I would be I'd be excited about that. Yeah. But um, he's old, he's hurt, and to me, he's not a point guard. But he's, he's got the best beard in the NBA. Oh yeah, by far, he's the Kimbo slice of the NBA. <laughs> Anyway, it'll be the, the NBA season is going to be interesting. It's going to yes. be real entertaining because we're going to see how Father Time deals with the Lakers because mm -hmm. they're just a little bit older. Right. Um, the Celtics, who are a lot a bit older. Yeah. And then what's going to happen with a team like the Heat? Because the Heat were just starting to gel at the I, end of the season and made a run. Can they? Can they start off hot? I think they 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 made some good additions. I, they made some little subtle additions, but they've been playing together. Oh wait, your team made an addition. Who? Troy motherfucking Murphy. <laughs> we ain't wow. talking about Murphy from RoboCop either, are we? Wow. Oh. Officer Murphy? Officer Murphy? That, yeah, they just, yeah. that's not going to help them. Um, But I think the Heat, I mean, if you would pick, who would you see in the finals right now if you have to pick it today? Without seeing it. What, I think it's going to be an exact rematch of the two teams over there last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be, pick. if I had to pick it right now, I'd say it's going to be the Thunder and the Heat. I think the Oklahoma City Thunders, they're going to, do some things this year. Yeah, they, today, they, today with no injuries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the problem is, is I don't think Oklahoma City has enough depth. But again, that helps them on a short season. Yeah, if they lose, if Kevin Durant or one of their or Westbrook goes down, it's a wrap. It's going to be. And tough. I think Westbrook has to realize that okay, this is Kevin Durant's team. I play second fiddle. He needs to not stop just shooting shit up. I mean, he think, needs to just relax a little yeah, bit. Yeah, get it back down. Yeah, you know. Now the NFL. Um. It was it, crazy. Last night it was tough for you Steelers fans. And I'm going to tell you right now, the mm -hmm. Steelers team should have, A, in my opinion, not put their starting quarterback on the field. Mm -hmm. I'd have put a backup in. Mm -hmm. I tip my hat to their starting quarterback because he goes out and plays hurt probably more than he should right. and more than most quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Now, as for that other fool on your team who thinks it was a conspiracy theory, the only conspiracy is is y'all do not do well, and by y'all, the Steelers, they do not deal well when a defense gets up and punches them and when, when they get bullied. Yeah. When, when they're not the big bully on the block, they, because the Ravens have done it twice this evening, and, the 49ers. and now the 49ers. Yeah. And the 49ers, honestly, no bullshit. If they make it to the Super Bowl, I will not be surprised because what does everyone say you need in the playoffs? A running game and, and a defense. defense. And they've got Gore and they've got a stingy-ass defense. And um, um, Harbaugh, coach of the year. Yeah. For this you year. You can really next. actually – there's a very good chance that you will see the Harbaugh's. They, you could see the Harbaugh's coaching against each other in the Super Bowl. You no. could see it. Who's going to go in the AFC? Pa the Patriots. Watch. They are so – their defense gives up so – what did you just say about defense? Right. They've got the rottenest defense but in, ever. And you know ever. What? The Redskins almost beat them Bama. A couple years ago, the Patriots ran into the same situation. Their defense was gone all season long. They walk into the playoffs. All their defense needs to do is hold another team to 28 points. That's how many points they, who, but how, they're, Who's going to stop their offense? This is the problem Okay, this is the problem the, the Patriots, when they lose, when they've lost They've lost the teams with stingy defenses Now, all of a sudden, somebody holds them to You know, they, they let the Redskins put all those points up on them The Redskins I mean, all of a sudden now, if you get a team That fucking starts just blitzing Tom Brady Puts them on his back And they're only putting up 20, 21 They're fucked True I mean, no quarterback in the NFL throws well from his back So, all right, if you had to pick your two Super Bowl teams Who are you going with right now? Super Bowl. I'm I am going, going with, with the uh, – if I had to pick – man, and the, the the fucking Saints are looking good, looking good too. It's going to be how the playoff matchup's in. I would have to say – man, if Houston had a quarterback, that would be my pick. I'm going to go with the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens and the Packers. I'm going with the Ravens and the 49ers. Yeah. Chill. Ravens and the 49ers? Mm-hmm. That will be Harbaugh against Harbaugh, like I said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did, it for, I did it for effect. You did the big fucking yeah. <laughs> right, man. I mean, fucking playing Jedi mind tricks on me, man. Anyway, uh, we're getting the fuck out of here. Because no fucked George up has, news? We don't have any fucked up news, man. Oh, we yes, just we do. Leave, huh? We do, but we're not talking about it. We're going to talk about that next time, man. Sure. Um, Sorry. And so for you people who got confused by the effed up news and didn't know what we were talking about, my bad. Yeah, um, said our show was shit because he didn't know what was going on in the effed up news. How serious? is that our worst episode? Because you don't know what's going on. I know, man. Well, anybody, everybody, happy holidays. Uh, Merry and Kwanzaa. We'll see you guys next Hanukkah time. Hanukkah started today, didn't Hanukkah, it? Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. Why did I get man. beeped out last show? What? Why did I get beeped out last show? Because we were talking about women's MMA. Yeah, that's what.